Hello, my name is Emma and in today's video we are going to talk about opinions. I'm going to teach you how to ask for someone's opinion, how to acknowledge someone's opinion, and how to give your own opinion. So these are all really important skills, especially in today's society. So let's get started. So how do you ask for someone's opinion? Imagine this, there is an election. You need to decide who is going to be the leader of your country. You don't know a lot, so you want to ask your friends what they think about different leaders. So what might you ask them? Well, you could ask them, what do you think about blank? You might ask somebody, what do you think about uh, our current president? Or if you're talking about something else, maybe, what do you think about healthcare? What do you think about education? What do you think about celebrities? So this can be anything you're interested in. Now, what I want you to really focus on is just some of these words I've underlined. Many English language learners forget this word, do. So we say, what do you think about. Notice I also underlined the word about. This goes with the word think, okay? So uh, you need to remember this preposition. What do you think about blank? And that just means what's your opinion on this topic? Let's look at some other expressions that mean the same thing. Now we have the word how. How do you feel about. This has the same meaning as what do you think about. It's just a different way to say it. So we can say, how do you feel about um, your country? How do you feel about the environment? How do you feel about children today? So these are different ways to ask someone for their opinion. And again, notice I've underlined the word do. Please don't forget the word do when you're asking this question. How do you feel? And again, just like above, we have about as the preposition in this question. Let's look at another way to ask for somebody's opinion. We can also say, what is your opinion on education? What is your opinion on learning English? What is your opinion on Mickey Mouse? Okay, you can ask people their opinion on anything. Notice though the preposition we're using here. After the word opinion, we have this little word on. And then you can say the topic. So what is your opinion on the TV show Friends, for example? Okay. Another thing we can ask is we can ask people for their opinions on a specific person. Sometimes maybe we're talking about a celebrity or maybe we're talking about somebody famous. We can ask our friends or people we know their opinions about that person. We can say, what is your opinion of Madonna? So notice number three and number four are a little bit different. Here we have the word on, and here we have the word of. We use of when we're asking someone's opinion of a person, whereas we use on for a topic. What is your opinion of him? What is your opinion of the president, for example? Um, okay, let's look at another way to ask for opinions. And again, there's so many ways. We can also say, what are your thoughts? This means the same thing as what do you think? What are your thoughts on um, alcohol? What are your thoughts on um, drugs? What are your thoughts on smoking? Again, we have our preposition. I've underlined it. Notice it's what are your thoughts on and then you can give the topic you're interested in. So these are five different ways to ask 
someone for someone's opinion. Now let's look at what you can say to someone when they give you their opinion. Okay, so you have asked someone for their opinion on something. Now what do you say after they give you their opinion? Well, it's good to acknowledge what someone says. So here are some ways to do that. You can say, I hear what you're saying. This means that you're acknowledging that you have heard their opinion. I hear what you're saying. You might even say it in a slang way. Sometimes in conversation, we just say, oh, I hear you, or I hear ya. Okay, both are possible. I hear what you're saying, I hear you, I hear ya. There are ways to acknowledge somebody's opinion. We can also say, I see where you're coming from. This means I understand your opinion. It doesn't mean I agree with your opinion, but it means I understand your opinion. I see where you're coming from. Or I can also say, oh, I see your point. Again, this doesn't mean I agree with your point, but it means that I understand what you are saying. So it's an acknowledgement. So these are great to say when someone gives you their opinion. After this, you can then give your opinion. You can say, I see your point and I agree if you agree with what they said. You might say, I see your point and I partially agree. Partially means you agree with some of what they said, but not everything. Or maybe the person said something and you do not agree at all. What can you say? Well, you can say, I see your point, but I disagree. I see where you're coming from, but I disagree. Or I hear what you're saying, but I disagree. Maybe you really disagree. In that case, you can say, I strongly disagree, or I really disagree with you. We can add those words strongly or really to make our disagreement even stronger. Okay, what are some ways we can give our opinion? So we've talked about how to ask for someone's opinion, and we've talked about how to acknowledge someone's opinion and to say whether or not we agree or not. We can also give our opinion. There are many different ways to do this. Sometimes we say, to be honest. When you hear someone say, to be honest, it's a signal. It means they're going to give you an opinion. To be honest, I like cats more than I like dogs. That's not true. To be honest, I like dogs more than I like cats. To be honest, I really like our healthcare system. Okay, so to be honest is a way to show you're going to give your opinion. You can also say, in my opinion. In my opinion, dogs are better than cats. In my opinion, coffee is better than tea. Okay, so these are just some ways um, to give our opinion. And again, there are many different ways. It's always good to have at least two or three ways that you can give your opinion and to practice those. So that way, when someone asks you for your opinion, you're ready to go. So thank you for watching this video. Um, it would be great practice if you actually, in the comments, ask for our opinion on something. You can ask each other. You can use some of the, the vocabulary you learned in today's lesson and write a question in the comments. What is your opinion on English, for example? Or what do you think about learning English? You can use some of these opinion words as well, like, um, to be honest, I love learning English. English grammar is the best thing ever, <laughs> okay? Or maybe you might say, I disagree with Emma. I do not like English grammar. So please write in the comments and practice some of what you've learned here. You can also take our quiz at www.ingvid.com. 
there you can practice a lot of the different vocabulary. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have new material coming out all the time. So come check it out. I have different videos on many different topics. Just don't forget to ring the bell because when you ring the bell, you will get an alert that a new video has come out. You can also check my website at www.teacheremma.com. There you can find some other activities to do and other resources to practice your English. So thank you for watching and until next time, take care.